Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to change one color into another or a single color transition in Photoshop. Let's take a look. Here we've got a lady in a red dress and I want to make it purple. How do I do that? Very simple. First off, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Select Color Range. See that Color Range option? We're going to now click on this red dress. We only want to work on the red. So I'm going to left click on the red and you're going to see here that it's selected the red stuff but it's left out all of the rest. There is some slight little bit of over residue, but that's okay. You can dial it back something like this. So you see none of the whites or the grays in here. I'm at 154. Let's go with 150 just for giggles. Also do note that you can select or deselect localized colors for this one. I'm going to deselect localized color clusters. Okay. Left click on okay. And there we go. It's going to make a selection. It has not done a perfect job as you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and get the quick selection tool and then I'm just going to brush it up a bit. So I'm just going to add in the bits and pieces that should be in there. So here we go. I've just gone ahead and yeah, okay, let's go. This is red enough. This is red, 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 red. It's only got the dress, only got the rows and everything else is left out. So there we go. You see what I did there? I'm just left clicking on it using the selection tool and making sure only the red things are selected. This is a pretty good job, although it's got a little green tip here. But that's all there is to it. Select color range and then use the quick selection tool to go ahead and make adjustments. If you want to subtract something, keep in mind you can hold down the alt or the option key to select, to, <laughs> to uh, deselect as I just did there. But we don't want that. So there we go. Now, the next step, now that we've got our selection, is we're going to go ahead and create a hue adjustment layer. So we go to left click here on adjustments over here. And then on the right, on the left side here, you're going to see hue saturation. So that's the one we're looking for. Hue saturation. We're going to create that adjustment layer. Left click on it. And then presto. Nothing happens yet. Not to panic. We're going to be working on the reds here. But I want to show you something. If you go to master and you just move this hue, look what's happening. You're changing the color quite substantially. So in most cases, this is all you really need to do is you just go ahead and select the hue and move it up or down depending on the color that you're looking for. You can also desaturate it, for example, like this looks like a pretty pinky pastel purpley color. So I would desaturate it a little bit like this. And then presto, we have a red dress completely changed over to purple in about two minutes, guys. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.